of you could be breaking the law and not even know it. A little known state statute could have drivers removing their license plate frames or face a fine. Channel 3's Matthew Campbell spoke with an unassuming driver who made this mistake. He is live at the DMV with all the details. Matthew. Yeah, Aaron, license plate frames, they're so common. A lot of people have them for their favorite team. Some have them for their alma maters. And some dealerships put them right on the car. Yet all of those examples could open you up to a ticket. The back of Joanne Fry's GMC looks like this. For five years, it used to look like this. We love Boston Red Sox. We're, that's number one in our family. The support remains, but you just won't see it on the car after she got pulled over near her Broadbrook home. For an unregistered motor vehicle, which I was not aware of either. But the state trooper tacked on an additional $117 fine for, quote, mutilating a plate. It's statute 14-18, section C, and reads, quote, Official number plates when displayed upon motor vehicles shall be entirely unobscured and the numerals and letters thereon shall be plainly legible at all times, which technically means all plates should look like this with nothing shielding them. I was so shocked to even know this law was even in effect in the state of Connecticut because everybody has these type of frames on their vehicles. We went to a parking lot in Manchester and randomly looked at 10 plates. So four out of 10 cars that we found here in the parking lot were in violation including this one where both Connecticut and Constitution State were blocked. I've never heard of it. I think it's ridiculous. Are you going to take this off? Well, now, yeah. I don't want to get a ticket. I remove it as soon as possible, yeah. Joanne is fighting the ticket and is hoping her story can prevent others from getting caught. Just be aware that this, this law is in effect in the state of Connecticut, and it's a $117 fine. So we talked with a couple of Connecticut state troopers off camera and they say, yes, this is a law. And they did point out that technically certain bike racks could also be in violation. That's just something to think about as spring rolls around. That's the latest live here in Weathersfield. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.